everybody. Cindy Oder here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, it is Thanksgiving week. Where did this year go? I have no idea. Uh, we're working on our um, 55 faces today and trying to get some of my water pen to work. Squish, squish, come on. There we go. And we're going to do a little bit different take on these today. Uh, this is actually number 13 and 14. I've pre gessoed the cards, which is fine. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I am just going to lay down some color. And this is just basic watercolor. And actually, I want to wet these. Uh, this is just um, some watercolors that I happen to have. I just want to lay down some color. Okay, I'm on when it decides it wants to work with me. There we go. And this is just going to be, um, this is actually a take off a, a lesson that I did, not a lesson, I'm sorry, a uh, video hop that I did, which was um, Fanciful Faces or Crazy Faces, I can't remember the name of it. And it was a bunch of us on YouTube that got together and we used a cloth paper scissors magazine to do some faces on and the inspiration of mine came from Dina Wakely I just I love her style so I'm gonna play so we're just gonna play with some faces on these today I'm just like I said I'm putting down some watercolor that one we're gonna use those colors I gotta let it dry just kinda moving it around a little bit so it mixes and blends Okay, and this one, oops, wrong pen, wrong, uh, this one I'm going to do a little bit different colors. Let's do a light blue. Make sure that's nice and wet still. Just going to put on a blue. I'm just kind of moving this watercolor around, not really, you know, looking for a certain pattern or, I'm just throwing some color down which I think are going to be pretty together. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this. So I'm just going to kind of move things around a little bit, make it work together and play. Need some more of that blue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let these dry. It might help them along with the dryer. We're going to let these dry, and then we're just going to do some faces over top of this watercolor. And I'm going to play with my Stabilo today, so we're not going to go into a lot of huge detail. These are more going to be like sketchy faces. Okay, so there's those two. Let's go ahead and let them dry, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so these are pretty well dry, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start doing a sketchy sketch. I've got a Stabilo All Pencil, and... I don't want this to be um, full of detail, so I'm just going to kind of loosely sketch out. Let's see what we come up with. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of, just kind of putting in. I don't know if you want to call it the the illusion, because it's not really an illusion, right? Just putting in some faces here, and I, again, I'm not really. I'm not uh, trying to make it perfect. I'm just sketching. I'm going to throw some eyebrows in here. Okay. We've got her nose right here. Uh, let's see. It's just kind of, whoops, wrong way. And one thing that by doing it this way with this Stabilo, you really can't erase um, what you may have put in, which sometimes that can be very challenging. But again, I'm just, we're just kind of playing. We're just kind of doing a sketchy sketch. Here she is. Okay. Uh, and what we'll do is we will actually activate all of this Stabilo with some water. So I'm going to put in her eyes here. Nothing crazy. Just always try to leave a spot where the light shines. Okay. We've got our nose. That's all good. Hair. What are we doing with hair? Who knows? Let's just kind of Let's just play, okay? We're just kind of playing with the hair today. Not in the mood to mess with the hair today. Now see, that's cool. I, you know, I came across her face, that's fine. And again, this is all just kind of like a mm, 
sketchy sketch. At least that's the way I look at it. So, so let's see here. Eh, her chin needs to be a little bit longer. Put some shadow in here. Maybe her shoulders. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a water brush and I'm going to start activating some of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Stabilo to create some of the shadows. I'm going to use the Stabilo to um, just just to what am I call? <laughs> What's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> I can't think of the word. Um, just to basically darken up some of the um, the details. My water pen's not really giving me a lot of water, so we're gonna have to work on that. Okay. So we're just gonna kind of. There we go, now I'm getting some more water. Okay, we're just, we're putting details in, but they're not, it's not going to be a portrait style face. This is more of a sketchy, sketchy face, which I love that style. And I, I love the fact that you can suggest, okay, now that's too dark. So I'm just gonna lift some of that off. She has a funky shaped nose, but that's okay. She's got funky shaped lips too. I can tell you that just by the way I'm feeling today. Okay, I'm gonna use some of this. Darken it up down here, maybe give it a little bit of... Again, I'm not I'm not overthinking this. I am just going with whatever my heart and hand says to do. I'm playing and just enjoying. Isn't that what art's about? Just uh, just enjoy it. Have fun with it. Do we have to have masterpieces every time? No. I know I sure don't. I don't think I've done a masterpiece yet. And I doubt if I ever will. But you know what? That's okay. I'm enjoying what I do. I'm having fun with it. Darken, whoa, a little bit too much. Let's darken a little bit more over here. So basically, I'm just kind of giving her a hint of some of the shadows. Give her a hint here. We are going to have to give her eyes some color. And if you know me by now, you know that I'm going to use, if I can find it, I have a blue Stabilo and I can't find one. Alright, she's not going to get blue. She's going to get orange. Because that's what's right here. So we just kind of... There we go. Orange eyes, that's different. Hmm. Why can't it be different? She doesn't have to have the same color eyes. Maybe they're just like a light brown. Hmm? We think. Her nose is a little chubby here. That's okay. That's all right. We don't mind, right? Okay, we're gonna play around with the lips a little bit more. I'm just gonna bring some of that shade down in. Bring some of that Stabilo up. on her eyes here a little bit and again this is all just a sketchy sketch just just having fun with the mediums and just playing so my scribble lines I didn't actually get activated so I'm just trying to work on getting those activated let's give her a few more scribbly lines why not Get back here, you. There we go. Is that her hair? Sure. Why not? All right, and I want to give her some color on her lips. I'm going to take my Uniball Signo. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to take some of this red watercolor. I'm going to give her some color on her lips. 
And we're going to take a little bit of the brown. We're going to tone down our eyes a little bit. This one's pretty toned down. Now we're going to take a little bit of the black. And again, all I'm playing with here is watercolor, Stabilo, and a water brush, just to, to play, to have fun with it. Give her a little bit more definition there. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a touch of my white watercolor. Let's throw a little bit. Whoa, see it's running. That's okay. We're just going to go poop. Good job. There we go. Give her some life in her eyes. Give her a little bit here on her lip. Maybe a little bit here on her nose. Nothing crazy. She's blue. She's allowed to be blue. Um, I want some more on her. Get some more of this red on her lips. A little bit too much, so I just take some off my brush. I'll just tone it down a little bit. <coughs> Still not happy with her eyes, so let's see. I need to sharpen my Stabilo. Give me one second. Okay, so I'll bring out a little bit more of a definition there. All right, there. We just brought. I brought a little bit more definition to her eyes, which that's it's all good. And I'm just bringing the outside of that, the stabilo, up into her pupil. And then I am going to go back in with just a touch of that white, and just just touch it right there. white here. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark Stabilo and just kind of give her a little bit more definition here. Go back in with the white watercolor right here. Nothing crazy. All right, I still want to go back in with a little bit more brown, kind of tone it down just a touch. Yeah, she has crazy hair today. She's a curly haired girl. Nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. So there she is. We got to figure out what her name is. No idea. We'll figure that out while we do the next one. Okay, this one I've got a little bit different, different colors. So let's take, let's go this way. Okay, same thing, we're gonna do sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna start with her eyes. Okay, I'll bring her eyes, now her nose. Let's do her nose right here. Try it a little bit different. And her lips. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to bring her eyes here. Okay. Just kind of. And then we're going to go for the eye, the eyelid. The eyebrows. Okay, and then again a sketchy face. And that was my phone, sorry about that. I'm still trying to think of a name for her. <laughs> I don't know. She's pretty blue. This one's gonna be pink and yellow. And I still want to put some more white back in her eyes. So she looks like she's very cold. Um, okay, so let's see what we've got here. Let's take, I'm not sure what we're going to do for the hair, so let's start working on a little bit of the Stabilo. I'll get any other color off my brush. 
and we're just going to start bringing out those colors. Start bringing out the uh, black. Just activating it. Nothing. Just kind of uh, letting the water play, just playing with the water brush, um, you know, maybe bringing out a little bit of her color. Okay, her lips are way too big, but that's okay, we're going to stick with it for now. I don't know I have this thing now where I want to do like these pouty lips and and yeah I don't have it down pat but hey that's what this is about we're just we're playing we're practicing we're learning every time I pick up um, whether it's a water brush a paint brush a pencil it doesn't matter what it is every time I pick something up I am learning um, whether it's learning how something activates or how two colors look together or um, oh maybe I shouldn't do that kind of a stroke maybe I should uh, do something different every time it's learning now what am I gonna do with her hair I don't know we're just gonna see what it does we're going to play. I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm not looking for a fancy hairdo. I'm not. I am just playing with the medium. Playing with the water. Playing with the watercolors. Let's see what the brush does. Let's see what the black does. You know, let's uh, enjoy the process. So far I'm really liking her. I think I'm liking her better than Blue Girl over here. Um, but that's okay. Some I like, some I don't. Um, some of them I think are just not right. Okay, and her eyes, I don't think I'm going to give her color in her eyes. She's not going to have real long hair either. And we're going to add a couple more scribbles here and there. Too bad I can't scribble the same, right? <laughs> Just to give her a little bit more texture into her hair. She looks like she's got one side longer than the other hair, so we'll get this side a little bit longer. She's got wet, damp hair. She just got out of the shower. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to start playing with the watercolors again, and I'm actually bringing um, this blue back here. And first thing I want to do is I want to take her eyes While she's drying, I want to bring the white back into her eyes. Okay. I just want a couple touches here and there. And I also want to bring a little bit more black into her eyes. There we go. Okay, we're going to work on this red. We're going to do some more on her lips here. Okay. I don't really want to calm down her blue color because I kind of like her blue color. It's, it's different. Um, so I'm going to let her be for a minute, let her dry. Now this one, I'm actually going to, let's use purple. Well, it's kind of a bluish purple. But. Okay, I don't like that. 
Don't like it, you take it off, right? That's simple. It went away. So I'm going back with the red or pink, whichever color we may have here. There we go, that's better. I look like a blob. <laughs> oh dear, too funny. You know what it is? They're not defined enough. But you know what? That's okay. That's how we learn, right? Whoa. So she has an awful lot of shadow right here. So let's bring some of that over here. That's better. Not happy with her nose. What are we going to do about her nose? We need to define it a little bit more. So we're going to pick that up. up some of this color, kind of pull it in up here, just kind of define her nose a little bit more, I don't like that, so we're going to pick that up, we're going to redo her nose, My washer is calling me. She has kind of a chubby nose, doesn't she? You know what? That's okay. Just a touch of the pink here. Let's get a little bit of color in here. Yeah. Alright, she's got an interesting nose. Still not happy with her mouth. So I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to take a pen. This is just a regular pen that comes in the, the Smash books. I'm going to try something here. This isn't going to work. Alright, that's not going to work. So I'm going back to my Stabilo. See, try. We're trying, right? And what happens if we don't get it right? Yeah, there's always another card. Each one of these girls has their own personality, that's for sure. And I think maybe if I take just a couple there, let's try that. Maybe that'll define it a little bit more. And her nose is still messed up over here. So let's. Don't know what happened to her nose. Her nose is in rough shape. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> She's too funny. Just bring in some water, reactivating that watercolor so I can pull it back over into up into her face. I'm surprised I've done a lot more work on these faces than I expected to. I really was looking to sh just kind of shoot for, um, you know, just more of a sketchy style. But And this is still sketchy style, but I'm actually doing more work than I expected to on these faces. Okay. <laughs> She's funny looking. <laughs> ah, I have to laugh. All right, I got to put her away before I keep messing with her. Okay, this one definitely has nose issues. I have to practice noses. That's one thing I am, am learning that um, I need, definitely need, 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 need to practice noses. But we'll do that. Okay, I see a little tiny piece of this brush. It's coming off and that drives me nuts. So that's gone. All right, so we're having fun with her, right? Are we having fun with her? Yeah. She's one of our girls. I think she's gonna be Lucy. Lucy. 
It's funny because my real name is actually Lucinda. And there's only one person in this world <laughs> that I allow to call me Lucy. And no, it's not my husband. Um, not a fan of the name Lucy, but I think it fits for her, right? I think it fits for her. So she is Lucy. She's going to dry. we got to write her name on her. Hmm. This one, <clears throat> let's see. Let's take some blue watercolor. See what we can do to her eyes. Let's add some blue in here. It's funny because when I sit here, you know, looking at these, I think, hmm. What should their name should be? And usually a name just pops into my head. This one is Kate. I hope I don't have a Kate um, because that's what this one is. Okay, just getting the rest of the watercolor out of my brush. You just kind of squeeze the water and it'll go away. All right, I want to add some, a little bit of white to her eyes right here and right here. She's got a little white on her lips. I don't know what we're going to do with this nose. Kinda. Her lips, again, are, are funky. Alright, I need to work definitely on my... I like the eyes. I, I like the way I do my eyes. I might, they, you know, they're not perfect, but I, I enjoy the way I do them. So I definitely need to work on my lips and my noses. So... Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more blue to her eye over there. Try to get her somewhat the same color. They're not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Alright, so we have Kate and Lucy. Now, I always try to use my Sumo, Sumi, <laughs> Sumi ink to put their names on. So this is Lucy. I'm just using this Sumi ink to just kind of outline a couple things here and there. Give it a little bit more definition, especially on her eyes and her pupil. Okay. So we have Lucy. What do you think of her? She's blue. She's funny. She's fun. And we have Kate. Kate, let's see. We're going to work on getting some of her features kind of outlined here, especially the eyes. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to do her Kate. Okay. All right, so what have I learned today? I've learned I definitely need to work on noses and mouths, or noses and lips. Um, I had fun playing with the watercolor style. I love to play with the Stabilo. It's just great um, for an overall uh, get out and just play and have fun with. Um, what else have I learned? I, I enjoy doing this. I really do. This is it's a lot of fun. Um, so whatever you do, don't don't be afraid. If if you want to use uh, pull out your gelatos and you want to try to draw a face with your gelatos, do it. Use them. If you decide um, if the only thing you have is Crayola crayons and you want to try to draw a face, bring it out and play with it. That's the only way you're going to learn how to do this um, is by play, and that's that's my goal is just to keep learning and and to grow. So. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Be kind. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll be glad to answer any comments. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and since it's Thanksgiving week, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you enjoy time with your family and friends if you get to do so. 
Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.